Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and also like and share this video at the end of the presentation or tutorial if you enjoy it. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get access to Google's AI Pro for free as a student. Okay, so this thing normally costs like up to 28,500 every month, but you can actually get it for free today as a student if you have your student ID card without paying for it and you have access for it for the next one year all right so let me show you how to do that if you look at my screen you see my own um my own platform and you can see from here i i, I am already on the google pro plan because i i use my own student id cards to sign up for this google um student offer all right so you can see pro by the top right here that is to tell you that okay i am no more in the free plan i am currently enjoying google's um this stuff and to show you the things i've already generated like this logo here this abc logo here is from that um google's ai platform okay this image here the same thing this image is here all these images you can see here and this image is you can still turn them to a video you can still give it a prompt and tell the system or the ai to make it to be a video to animate it you can make it to you can ask it to make it to start talking and the rest okay so let's continue for me to now enter you can see if i click on this enter tool here it will open up this page where i can now type in my prompt so anything i tapped here that um, that i want ai to give me to present to me as an image they will surely do that immediately all right so let's just make a test an image of a young African girl hawking oranges in a typical African market. So you click on send. So let's see the magic it will do here. just give it a little time so you can see this is the image it just generated for us so i will show you how to get access to this type of platform for free without actually paying that 20 that 28,500 for it every month right so let us get started i'll be logging logging out from this particular account and then i will sign in using a new email address so I've signed out to sign in now. I'll click on this G, that image by the top right, the pink um, background color. I'll just tap on it and then I'll select, I'll click on sign in. So once you click on sign in, it will ask you to select an email. I've already selected one of my other emails and then the other prompt will be for you to accept their terms and, terms and condition and all. If you want to accept their marketing and you know you want to join the Google AI marketing email list you can also um consent to that but i've jumped all that and this is where you will finally see yourself okay so for you to now um start this application as a student if you have a student id card and you want to apply because this thing won't last forever okay so it's an offer so if you are still seeing this video it means that maybe you are still lucky to have it to get started click on this icon by the top right that is the one that represents your your email so click on it but before then you will see this launch whisk by the down on this yellow background color you see this launch whisk so click on this launch whisk allow it to load so once you see this page now the next thing to do is to click on this top right corner the you can see my own is s that stands for my name standards law so you can see maybe a or b depending on your own name so click on it touch it then you will see this thing that is now loading up allow it for a little time then you see this upgrade click on this upgrade remember we are not paying any money for this i am trying to show you how to get access to this stuff without paying for it as a student so if you have your student id card then this opportunity from google is for you because from this stuff you can be able to do your assignments generate strong and high quality images 
and even animate them like that is turn a turn an image into a video so from here you see that google has different options they have google ai plus they also have google ai pro and then they have google ai ultra so this google ai plus can see the price there is 3815 naira per month for six months i can see the, what you can what you get in if you should pay for that but why pay for this um this lesser plan when you can get the second plan for free and still has more um more options for you to design your images for you to create videos for you to work with many many stuffs there so you can see get higher access to new and powerful features to boost your productivity and creativity get google ai pro so if i click on this get google ai pro now i will accept their their terms of service agree so allow it you can see the actual price is 28,500 naira, but they are offering it to give it to you for free every month for the next 12 months. So while you're on that, I want you to open a new tab, open a new tab on your browser, and then you type in Google AI Student Plan Free. Just organize or arrange your grammar anyhow you want to arrange it, which will still take you to the same place. You can see free Germany student plan, so click on it. Free for one year. Get unlimited charts, image, image uploads, and quiz generations with more access to a 2.5 Pro model deep research and audio overviews plus two terabytes of storage just for students offer ends you can see that december 9th 2025 and i think they will still increase it okay they will still extend this offer for people that may that might not have um entered into it okay so let's click on get offer now you are already subscribed that is for my main account so i will be signing out of this particular account and then log into my other account so if you have never subscribed before this is the page that you're gonna see okay you saw my own that i have already subscribed to it so this is another gmail account you can see university students get germany in google ai pro for one year free of charge without paying any money for it so if you click on this verify eligibility now i'll click on it if you have your student id card you should keep it very ready and prepared because you're gonna snap it as well Okay, you're going to up upload it on this site. So they will ask you to select your country. So select your country here. Myself, I'm in Nigeria. Nigeria. So they will ask for my school. I will search my school, let's say UNN, that is University of Onsoka, okay, let, let me type it in full, University of Onsoka, it's okay, Nubu. you can see I've selected it, then my first name, as it appeared on my ID card, don't go and ask and put your nickname here, if you know the exact name that is in your ID card, that is the same name that you should put, you should put here, Okay, so first name, last name, put your first and last name, then date of birth. If your ID card also bears your, your birthday, your date of birth, also select the exact thing that you can see on your ID card. Then once you click on verify, put, also put your email address here. Once you click on verify students, they will ask for your upload, for your ID card upload. Okay, so once you upload the ID card, then hold on for like two minutes. The page will now refresh and then tells you that, it will tell you that oh, you have been um, given access to Germany AI for one year as a student. If you don't have a student ID card, or maybe you are no more a student and you still need it, you should know how to go about it. Okay? Myself, I'm a student to <coughs> don't ask me how, but I'm a student. Okay, because I have my own student ID card. So you have to go and get your own student ID card and then 
upload it here so that Google can give you free one year access to the platform. So once you are done with all these plat all these stuff, you can now get back to your very first to the page we left before we entered this Gemini Students AI. I mean this page. So once you are here now, the next thing to do now is to click on this enter tool. So once you click on enter tool, it will now lead you to this uh, place. To, to you can now start asking question, prompting the AI to give you images. And once it gives you an image, you can turn the image to a video. Let me show you how. So let's prompt prompt it for a for an image. Give me an image of a young African girl hawking oranges in a typical African market. Give me an image of a young African girl hawking oranges in a typical African market. So let's prompt. So you can see, it will always give you two different options. I did this particular prompt the first time and it gave us two different options of a little girl selling oranges in a typical African market. So let's assume we are going with this last one, with the second one. If you want to turn it into a, an image like a prompt, you can just click on this video. You can see this top, just on this particular um, image, you see this video icon by the top left. So click on it. And then give it a prompt of what you want it to do, like the animation you want it to do. Let's say you want, we want it to um, throw the image up, like three, up to three images. Throw up to three images up. And be saying these words. He's saying these words buy your oranges here yeah. <laughs> now let's prompt now let's see what what will happen so just give it time throw up to three oh, uh, throw up to three oh shit Three oranges and the three images. Hmm. Throw up to three oranges up and be saying these words buy your oranges here. That should be the correct prompt. So let's allow it. So you can see, let's play. So you can see this is how to turn it into um, a video, a very short video. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you have any question or confusion at anywhere, just drop it on the comment section. And for the link that will lead you to these pages that we just um, navigated now, just check this comment section or check the description. The description is the click on that more, and then that's the, this that's this video description. Or you check the comments. I will drop the link that will lead you to, directly to this page here. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything, give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more videos because I will make more videos on this particular AI, how to make use of it to generate more fun AI videos. I will see you in the next video.